For the pinnacle of 2023 at the Silverstone Festival, it was time to put a legend behind the wheel of the Brustang. British cycling icon Sir Chris Hoy would mean that we welcomed a knight to the realm for the races. Alex, tell us a little bit about the car. So, uh, 289 Ford Mustang, notched back. Uh, it's a 1965 build car and master's touring cars, as you can probably see, is one of the most competitive and accessible grids. So, we're going to have a whale of a time. Yeah, I'm looking at this sort of 65 Mustang, a bit of Americana against what looks like. I mean, the minis are quick, the motors put in, so the Alpha's obviously very quick. How are you guys going to fare? Well, we're just looking at the skies and hoping that it's not going to rain, because when they rain, it just doesn't look so good. So fast at all, I'm not doing it the way I'm more, but the uh, house is getting to full throttle and the way you're doing well. Is there pressure? Because you know, these cars are now valuable. Um, you are going to go, you know, bump to bump racing on an iconic circuit. Is there a part of you that holds back? <laughs> well, you no. think, well, you, 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 always, you always do, you always do, to, you always, you know, right up to the point where the, the flag drops. You're like, this is someone else's toy, I'm going to take care of it. It's 50 50, you just you give a little bit. And then something happens when the red mist comes down. Yeah, yeah. You drive, don't tell them this. It's called a visor. But yeah, you just, you just, you drive to your limits. And you just, I mean, what I'm trying to learn is that I know, I, I now know my limits versus maybe five or six years ago, but I'm still exploring them. So I know very much where I stand in the face of all these drivers. There's some amazing drivers there. I'm not up even close to these guys, but I'll drive to them right up to my limit. And I won't give way. I won't, not going to let people come past, but equally, you're very aware of someone else's toys. But the person feeling the most pressure, I think, was me. We'd had a couple of really embarrassing moments with Chris, where he'd turn up to the racetrack, we'd had difficulties with the car, and after giving up his very valuable time, we'd had a problem and had to send him home again. As I went out, I was desperate that A, the car would run well, and B, I needed to give the Mustang a representative showing. These cars live and die by their results in these events, and a top five qualifying spot would add to its value. So yeah. I was trying. The pressure was on Chris now to do the job having waited around for a decent portion of the weekend so far. He had to get behind the wheel and get up to speed very quickly in a field of almost 60 touring cars. A tough ask. was the worst possible scenario, out of the pits after a safety car, putting him in a massive gaggle of traffic, but Chris acquitted himself really well, no damage on the car, in the top 5 on pace, everything in one piece, and even the camera loved us, how about that? Chris, lovely to see you, uh, it's sharing the Brustang, this is a car that Alex built, do you trust him? <laughs> Implicitly, yes, <laughs> uh, yeah, he's, it, you know, the car is fantastic, it's a beautiful thing to look at, it's great to drive. I haven't been out in the wet though, so I might have a completely different out, <laughs> uh, taking it afterwards, but uh, so far so good. And Alex, tell me, how much did you, I mean, have you done everything on this car or just bits and pieces? No, 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 well, Pierce's engineering did most of, the, most of the difficult stuff, I turned up, turned some screws, did a bit of the left front suspension fuel system which then didn't work they had to do it again uh, bumped my head on it and left um, I, I dropped in all the way through the world endurance championship season to screw bits on and learn bits about it so I could just about take most of the suspension apart myself I'd say uh, but all of the clever sparky bits and, uh, and engine bits I can't do to be honest taking it apart is the easy bit it's putting it back together that's difficult I've taken a few of them apart in my time uh, <laughs> Not all I didn't have to put those back together luckily but um, yeah yeah, no, it, it's been great fun uh, putting this little project together, but you know, there are people who know so much about these cars uh, and, are, and are so good at doing so, you'd be, you'd be very, very silly not to take their advice. 
uh, Chris, just finally, um, it's, it's quite a different beast than the Mustang, but I guess it's just getting it in a straight line and getting that power down. Yeah, I mean, I've only driven it in the dry, and even in the dry, it's a bit of a handful. So it is, it's getting that lock off, getting the power on, trying to minimise wheel spin, and trying not to get mugged by the minis and the Cortinas on, on a day like today. Yeah, flat through cops. <laughs> Maybe. I'll let Alex well, Alex is doing the first stint, so I'll, I'll see what he says. Perhaps a slight lift and a break <laughs> lift. and down one <laughs> and down another one. A bit more break. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Good luck. Cheers. Thank you. Well, the evil eye amongst you will see that it's wet on the ground, and the engineering minded of you will know that a leaf spring live axle car is not that great in wet conditions. All of that, though, a bit of an excuse, because what you're about to see is the first time I've ever damaged the Brustang. Chris watched on, and I'd like to think he was impressed with my progress, making my work worked up. Wait, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, or whether he was concerned about the potential for that, and the potential to have no tyres and no brakes left, considering how hard I'd been pushing the car to keep us in the hunt. Either way, this is a massive ask on somebody who's never driven a Mustang before in the rain, and props to Chris for taking this on with the tiny amount of practice I've given him.
After my elite driver penalty given by the series, Chris came out in the middle of the top 10 and drove a solid stint to cross the line in P11. Brilliant stuff from him and he attacked the race in absolutely the right spirit. All that was left to do is run down to the collecting area to see how my Hertz rental would be returned. It's just a, it's just a flesh wound. That wasn't me. No, it wasn't you. The one the back was me. Oh, was it? <laughs> <laughs> a little love uh, tap. Did they? Where's that then? Just in here. Oh, that'll be alright. But enough that he just, he just tapped it, didn't it? And you see from the video, just had to go right across right. the, the grass. That's right. Fucking bang, what, bend it back. So much fun, but oh, I just felt like getting mugged left, right, and centre. Ah, you're fine. Finish 11th. 11th? Yeah. That's alright. That's not bad at all. Well, better than it was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you did such a amazing oh, job. I, could, you get in sec could you get in second? Could you get in second? The biggest issue I had was the brake pedal was just all the way down. And then you can't. And then you can't yeah, and it was, it was just so. They're like that. And I, I was frustrated because I could see there were, there were Mustangs around. I should be able to keep up with these guys. Yeah. And I was just yeah getting, getting mud left, right, and centre. And I couldn't I couldn't leave it late. I was getting caught in the brakes. Yeah. But if I tried to break it later, it was it wouldn't go in, and no I, in. I would then. Walk I up went long. Yeah, I went long loads. Yeah. I couldn't get it in the, the final gear. Yeah. And then just go long and. Uh, well, actually, you know out of trouble. Skid the battle well. It was great watching your battle out there. That was mega. Like nose to tail, the whole way. Is Andy Prio? Was it? Yeah, and the yellow one. In the yellow yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is it's such a machine. It's, it, it, I loved it. Great. I'm and glad. I just felt it just didn't do it justice. That's the no, thing, mate. But, you absolutely. That's yeah. that's that's hard. The, the level of driving there. But everybody looks at it yeah. and goes, "Oh, historic racing. It's just a load of old boys." This grid. It's full on, isn't it? It's like so, super Sam Tordoff, who's in yeah. British touring cars, or yeah. was still last year. Super Prio Me was yeah. the was the leader, yeah. and then like all of the historic boys behind that. It's tough, mate. Yeah. It's tough. It was, you, you did know a brilliant job. Uh, the, first couple, the first lap was all right, and then the pedal went long, and then I was just like, do you know what, I've got it. had a couple of moments, I went on straight on at Pops, had to go round, round, and then I got, I don't know if you saw it, it was on, but uh, Cortina got me on the inside on the last corner, yeah. around the pit straight. Oh, I saw you come out here. The yeah. gravel was like, oh no. Right. There's plenty to watch on the video, put it that way. <laughs> That'll be worth it. Oh, yeah, I thought, mate, honestly, you, you brought it back, it's all in one bit, no big deal. It's so much fun, just sliding it around, and it's a high speed, it's like almost the, the last two corners coming onto the new pit street. Yeah. You, you get it, I got it right once. And right, you we, get it right, just, just one. And then it, you line it up and you just pull straight out, and I go, that was it. If I could just do that the next 10 laps, I'd be alright. There are guys who could just do that every, every single, every single lap. Yeah. It was still damp and wet and horrid, wasn't oh, it? Oh, well, by the end it was drying up, I think, but um, thank you. Thanks for it. Thanks for, me and, uh, yeah, I, I felt really bad. You've waited for ages, and no, then the car wasn't wasn't on it. The car was great. The car, honestly, I've not made any any blame at all on the car, and I've not driven many of the historic cars, but that's that's been the easiest to drive, and it, it puts a smile on your face. Even when you're pedaling around in eleventh place, you're still, <laughs> you're still smiling. Well, mate, you know? I tell you what, there's sixty cars out there, so yeah, you're beating, yeah, you're yeah, beating someone. So. Well, I still maintain that my bit was probably the worst. And what a great pleasure it was to have a British legend behind the wheel of my historic car. We'll be back next year where the adventures of the Brustang will continue.